Hi everyone, this is Martin from Sound Design Channel. Hope that you guys are having a wonderful day ahead. And today I'm going to show you a tool that can help your to retouching stuff faster in a convenient way. But first, let's the intro begin. Now just let's jump into it. At first, thanks Julia for this great picture. I'll put her name in the description in case you guys are needed. There's many methods when it comes to skin retouching, such as dodge and burn, gauge and blur, high bass, and frequency separation. But what I'm going to show you is a panel called Sound Design. And it's really useful when you want to have a beauty or skin retouching. Now, I'll guide you through the whole section of retouch in tab A of the panel. The first step is depend on the images you want to retouch and choose the suitable tool for retouching so that it will bring the good result for your demands. As you can see, as usual, I use pack tool to remove the premises, but it really consumes my time. So now we duplicate the background first by pressing Ctrl J for window or Command J for Mac. Let's try with Smooth Skin AI tool of the panel. The circle appears and we have to adjust the circle to fit the model's face. You can easily expand the circle by hold Alt and click and drag out of the small square of the corner. Rotate it. When it fits the face, then we press Enter and wait for the tool processing. When it's done, we choose brush tool on the left hand side or press B at the socket. The brush icon is also located in the panel so you can choose the way as you see fit. Oh, remember to adjust the flow. Since I'm using Wacom tablet, so I choose the flow around 20 or 25%. So now we slightly brush and see the changes. OMG. I can see the plants that blow away without any difficulty. There are huge differences between before and after using the panel. As you can see, the tool not only removes all the plants, the wrinkle, but also keep the skin texture intact. That is the most important thing when it comes to skin retouching. We shouldn't destroy the skin texture. Before, after, before, after. For some spot that's still done, we can use the pack tools to fix it. Before that, we have to merge layers by pressing Ctrl Shift E or Command Shift E for Mac. Use patch tool with J shortcut and fix the area you want. Boom, we done. It's super convenient and saves so much time for me and for those who have to deal with tons of images on a daily basis. Let's move to the second image. <laughs> wow, as you can see, he has a lot of plants on the skin and surely it takes so much time to remove all of that but to remain the texture. Because this image is a bit difficult than the previous one, so mm, I'll go with the second action. First, just duplicate the background by pressing Ctrl J or Command J for Mac. And to the Smoothkin AI Plus. As usual, the rectangle appears, so just adjust the rectangle to fit, fit his face. Okay, then press Enter. Okay, the box up here. Let's read the info of this tool first. Okay, so I will leave the number as it is. Then we run the AI retouch. Okay, now we choose the brush to remove the uninvited spot on his skin. 
and please remember to adjust the flow and make sure the foreground is white. Zoom a little bit and pen. Wow, it's good action. Surely it can save a lot of time for all of us, especially those who have to deal with tons of picture on a daily basis. For some area are not clean enough, so we will take care of it later. Let's see the changes. Wow. <laughs> okay. Now we merge all the layer by pressing this action, the layer merge, or you can use the socket Control Shift E for window or Command Shift E for Mac. Then duplicate again the background and choose the smooth kit II. Again, just the rectangle to hit face. Enter and we press again for those spots that still exist on his skin. Okay, let's see the changes now. Then we merge layer again. For those part here, I will use the pet tool to finish it. Because his neck is a bit darker than the face, so I will Choose the action brighter skin and slightly press on his neck. You can see I use the flow at 10% so I can brighten the skin slightly and gradually. That's why please make sure you use the appropriate flow before painting. Here we are. Maybe these actions cannot be 100% compared to dodge and burn technique. When you spend around four to six hours for skin retouching, but it will help for some beginner to be more professional in a short time, or even someone who wants to mainly focus on what really matters, like photographer. Thank you for watching. If you think this tutorial is helpful for you, please hit like, subscribe, and the bell, so you will get the notification of the new tutorial when it's come out. See ya!